Hi and welcome to part two of my um, fracture tutorial and now that we've got the fracturing part done here in Modeler and we've got a morph set up to break the pieces apart let's send this to layout okay let's go to the uh, perspective view here and we can kind of get this set up right here and then uh, what I want to do is I'm going to um, under items I'm going to add a null okay and let's um, let's pull this null off here at the beginning here at frame zero And just to get an idea how big this is, let's look at it right here. So it's um, three meters square. So I'm just going to pull this out here. And let's see, let's go. Um, Actually, let's go in the center. Let's start in the center, and then I'll bring it up. Let's get into a good view here. Rotate this. I'm going to just bring it straight up. And I'm going to bring it up about, well, four or five meters or something like this. And I'm going to click on the my main object here, my, my um, shattered layer one. And let's make sure that it's... Uh, what I want, yep. Okay. And I'm going to hit P for properties here. And let's go to deform. And um, now there's a morph on there. So if we were to go to Morph Mixer, we could test this out real quick. And let's, uh, let's just kind of move this over a little bit so we can see it so see we can you can see it breaking up here okay then I'm going to hit shift and click on the E to get rid of the envelope so that's cool so the morph works and I, I don't want to uh, use morph mixer really I'm going to I just wanted to test it um, and we can go in here and use nodes and stuff, but I just want to show this real quick, uh, how to do this, the, probably the quickest way, easiest way. And I'm going to go in here down to, instead of using Morph Mixer, let's go to uh, a plugin called Normal Displacement. Double click. And instead of displacement direction being normals, let's do Morph Map and tell it which morph map you want to use, explode, the only one we've got, and then let's apply a texture to it. So what I want to do is go to gradient and see since we're the there's only one key in the gradient layer and it's a hundred percent it's going to morph it and I want to change the input parameter to distance to object null so I'm going to say, okay, let's click here and let's go to three meters, which is right about there. See that? And set its value to zero. Something like that. And then at frame 50, I'm going to select it. I'm going to move the. I'm going to get the null. Let me close this down. And I'm going to drop it back down to about here, which is about zero on the Y. And I can tell that because it's right about here. I'm about eight millimeters or so. So watch this. As it comes out, I can make it crack.
Okay. So that's pretty cool that we can do that. Boom. So if we want to some, hit something, just have something just kind of boom and shatter like that. It's real simple. We can do it with a morph. Okay. We can also um, change that. So instead of being here at um, zero, let's do it this way. Okay, let's go out here. Let's bring it back down here. And that will break it open. So let's move it on the uh, the X, I believe. Yeah, we're moving on the X. Way out there. So nothing listen, so let's let's watch here as that null approaches from that one side. And we'll bring 50 out here further. Like so. Let's just sort of play it through. So we can do some nifty little effects this way. By just by using that morph, okay. So, hopefully, that, that's actually something interesting we can do with it. Uh, let's try something else here, real quick. Now, this is like I said, everything I'm doing can be done, and everything from Probably light wave seven on up to light wave eleven, so this isn't this isn't a trick that you can only do with the current version of light wave. I'm using eleven point oh three, but like I said, uh, if you're using light wave nine six or whatever other versions, you should be able to do most of this as well. And um, what we'll do is we'll stop here, and I'll, I'll actually do a third part where I'll show. Uh, what you can do with a little bit of dynamics on that. And uh, so I'll stop here and then uh, we'll do a part three on this.